Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a very special unboxing, guys. I am super, super excited because in this box here is a very big piece of movie history. And then here's a small piece of a small little franchise that some of you guys may have heard of. Um, first movie came out in 1976. Uh, and it's, if I remember correctly, it's called Star Wars. And in Star Wars, we have these cool little guys called Stormtroopers. And in these boxes are statues based on the original Stormtrooper designs from Shepardin Studios um, and designed by Andrew Ainsworth. So these are the very first original Stormtrooper designs. And I'm a huge Star Wars guy. I love Star Wars. So I'm super excited to show these off because they are amazing. So let's get started. Let's get these unboxed. I want to show these off because they are super impressive. We're going to start with the big guy first, and then I'm going to show you what's in the small box next. Okay. So let's get these open because I'm pumped. By the way, these boxes are huge. A little sneak peek here before I, I don't want to spill it on the floor. Sneak peek. Look, look, look. Look at that. Look at the box in there. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. Let's get this over here. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's like a workout getting this thing out of here. Um, first of all, just to show you guys, the shipping container, the shipping box is actually fully aligned with this foam protector right here. So you get a ton of protection with this. Um, the packaging on this is really premium. So I'm gonna show you guys. So we'll move this over there. We're actually gonna keep one piece. So when you unbox your, when you unbox yours, keep a piece like this, okay? I'll show you why. Here is the box. There we go. Um, the box is beautiful. So it's like a split uh, gift box that opens up. It's got premium black foam in it. Um, and you'll see what I mean. It's not the usual styrofoam uh, clamshell. Uh, yeah, and on the side, we've got a little bit about the history of Shepardin right there uh, and Andrew Ainsworth signature. So let me show you this. So this just slides off like so. There we go. Okay, first layer of foam comes off. So you can see what I mean. It's that, that really nice foam. And we start off with the Stormtrooper body. Okay, so when you take the Stormtrooper body out, be careful because the head is actually held on with magnets. So the head does pop off. Okay, so super important that you keep your hand on that so it doesn't go flying on you. And then we'll just lay them out here on the foam because the base is underneath. And we'll take out the molded foam here and all the accessories and everything is right there like that. Nice, huh? All right, so we're gonna take these out, but real quick before I start taking this stuff out, guys, if you like these kind of videos, if you like these unboxings, if you love Star Wars, you need to destroy, destroy that like button, okay? Smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, help us grow the channel and we really appreciate your feedback as well. So if you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, do so right in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So starting off with the base, you've got the Shepard and Studio engraved logo on this metal nameplate, and you have Andrew Ainsworth's signature uh, engraved in the base right here. So the way you start this off is there's a steel pin inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put that pin in. And that's the foot peg that lines up with the hole in the foot. And we'll go ahead and put this guy down here. And already you can see how huge this, this statue is. It's one third scale. There we go. There he is, check that out. All right, he's missing a few accessories, so let's accessorize them. So the hands are actually magnetic and they're posed holding his blaster. So we'll get that on there. So there we've got the hands on and of course we have the original design of the E-11 blaster from Star Wars. Uh, and of course he comes with the belt with all the accessories. So we have to actually build his belt first before we can put it on. So we've got the blaster holster as well as the pouches. So these just get held in there with Velcro. So we just put that on there like that, like this. And we'll feed the blaster holder on. And here we go. Oh, let's make sure we put this on right. And again, the back is just held on with Velcro. So, 
And there we go. And we've got the little backpack, little waist pack. And that's just some metal prongs that clip onto the, uh, onto the belt. And that looks like so. Now, in terms of material, pretty much the entire thing is from resin. So it's all hard resin, except there is real material underneath. So the, the black suit that's underneath is actual material. And this is like a faux leather material. Now, before you go crazy and say, okay, I want to buy this right now, there is something you need to bear in mind. Uh, this is restricted to a specific territory. So this is only available for purchase in the UK, Europe, the Middle East, China, Japan, and Africa. Unfortunately, not available to our PRS fans in North America. Unfortunately, we'd love to, but due to licensing, that is the only territory we can sell it. So if you do head over to purearts.com, you can go and check out all the photos and video footage uh, and all that good stuff. So bear in mind, if you do go on purearts.com to go check it out where you got all kinds of photos and all that good stuff, uh, just bear in mind if you do purchase it and you're not within one of the accepted territories, we have to cancel the order. So if you're in those areas, go and check it out. And the best part is it's actually available right now. So these are built to order. We build them in very small batches but there are some available uh, in the UK warehouse at the time of filming. And in mid-May, these will be available in the European warehouse as well. So go check it out on purist.com and uh, you can order right from there. One of the really interesting details about this statue is how meticulously it's designed based on the original prop pieces. So there's actually full-size prop pieces available from Shepparton. We actually replicated very minute details, even errors in the way that it was sculpted and cast. We reproduced all of that. I'm gonna talk about it, but first I wanna show you something. So let's say you don't wanna pick up the full piece. It's too big or not within your budget. And by the way, we do have uh, price plans, like there's interest-free um, deferred payment plans on the site that you can use as well. But let's say you want something a little smaller or you wanna give someone a gift. Let me show you what else we got that comes from this exact same line. It's the small piece of history. Let's crack this open. I'm gonna show you what's in here. Ooh, we got secrets. All right, let's get this out of here. There we go. So in the exact same style of packaging as the big guy, we have this small piece here. Again, with the gift box style opening with the Stormtrooper. And this is the one third scale helmet. So that comes off of here. So you get the same thing, a little bit about the studio, you get the signature. And you get this important little pamphlet. We're gonna talk about this in just a second. So again, you got the nice premium foam. And here you've got beautifully presented the original Stormtrooper helmet with a really nice base. So let's get this out of here. Check that out. So check this out. And again, you have the magnetic holder. Uh, you get the nameplate with the engraving as well as the signature right here. Okay, so what are, what are the little details? What makes this... Uh, sourced from the original castings. Well, just to give you an idea, the pamphlet actually goes over this and we'll show you a close up of the pamphlet. You can actually check it out on purearts.com. It's in there in the, in the photo gallery. And there's small little details on here. So the first one is when this was being cast, back then molds weren't really the science they are now. So the molds actually shifted and caused one side of the head to be a bit more concave than the other. Well, this is actually duplicated in the shape of the helmet. The exact same unevenness is seen. Another cool detail, if any of you guys have seen other replicas of Stormtroopers, you might've noticed that the eyes are kind of painted on or sculpted flat. Well, on the original design, they actually bubbled out and you can see that the eyes are bubbled out right here. Um, other details such as the uh, vent lines that are here, there's seven of them on the original and there's seven on these, as well as the blue vents that you see here. Those blue vents, there's 12 of them on the original, 12 are replicated on this as well. And another error from the casting back then is there's a small bump in the eye. Now this is like a crazy detail. We're gonna zoom in, we're gonna show you this while I talk. The eye, you'll notice that in one eye, on the bottom part of the eye, there's a bump that's there that's not on the other side. Again, that's an error from the molding process. Again, replicated exactly as is on these scaled pieces. 
As for the rest of all the little details, guys, I'll let you go on the site or just purchase your very own. They're very inexpensive, an amazing collectible for any Star Wars fan. They make a great gift. So go check it out on the site, impurance.com, and you can check out all the details on this and see what all the little errors are and things that were replicated on these scaled pieces. All right, before we take off, let's do the usual. Let's take some measurements and see how big these guys are. So the full scale one third is 27 inches high is about 27, maybe slightly under. 27 inches and the base is about 13 inches wide and it is exactly eight and a quarter inches deep. So make sure your shelving has a nice spot, 27 inches high for this bad boy. In terms of the helmet, the, the helmet of the original Stormtrooper is, oh, just over six and a half, almost seven inches by about five inches wide and he's about uh, just over three and a half inches deep. So guys, if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan, this is one of the centerpieces of your collection. This thing stands out, it's amazing. People that even come and visit the studio, as soon as, it, the first time I visited the studio, the first thing that caught my eye was this. I was just like, oh, this is so nice. And if you want this in your collection, go and grab it. It's in stock, ready to ship right away. And that concludes today's unboxing of the Shepard & Studio original Stormtrooper both the one-third scale helmet and the full one-third scale statue. Both absolutely gorgeous pieces. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And as always, don't forget before you take off and go watch another Star Wars video, make sure you smack that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell notification so you know the next time we post an unboxing. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care and have a good one. Hey guys, guys, joke. Why did the stormtrooper buy an iPhone? Because he couldn't find the Android he was looking for. <laughs> That's so stupid. See now. <laughs> uh.